one of his dogs. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers. What's up? You know how we do, back in it with a versus video. Um, the KD9 Elite versus the KD10. Yes. Which one is a mo better? Which one? Well, uh, I've tested both these shoes out and I'll break it down for you real quick. Um, if you guys are wondering what the hell I'm doing down here, I'm petting Reyna. Reyna's in the house, as usual. Um, what she'll do is she'll chill on me for a second and then she'll go to Sam, hmm. which is her, uh, her fam. Um, but anyways, uh, KD9 Elite versus KD10. Let's start off with the traction. Uh, it's tough. I mean, the KD9 Elite is the same as the KD9, right? Yeah. So, KD10 is better? Yeah, it's better, but it's less durable. Yes. A lot less durable. Yes. But it's slightly better um, in dusty conditions. And uh, on a clean court, they're both about the same. Uh -huh. But as far as dust goes, I feel like it's a little bit better, uh -huh. the KD10. So, uh, I'm just going to give them a tie because the durability isn't there. But if you're talking just traction, the KD10 is a little better. Uh, but I'm going to give it a tie just because of durability. Um, moving on to cushion, that's the same. Um, whoop de doo Nike. whoop de doo um, And uh, I did feel like a slight difference in the 10, um, but not enough to really speak on. It could be, um, you know, th th there's slight discrepancies even between the same shoe. Not every shoe is really the same, you know? Yes. Um, so I I'm just going to leave it as a tie. Um, that's the midsole. They're both full length zoom. It's basically the same setup, like same exact setup. So, um, me, if you're a guard and you've tried the KDs, uh, tell me how it feels in the comment section below. Because yeah. I, I don't like it. It's like it's way too bouncy for me, and I don't feel like super low to the ground. Um, so, I mean, I, I'd rather have a lower to the ground cushion and like, um, you know, have more responsiveness. Yeah, it's like. definitely not the most responsive cushion. Um, yeah, it's pretty much geared for, you know, s not a point, not a super shifty dude. Um, so, uh, midsoles are the same. Moving on to the uppers. Uh, yeah, they're both nice. I mean, this shoe is so similar. It's, it's nuts how similar this shoe is. Um, they're both pretty much the same. However, the 10 is a little bit more premium, a little bit nicer. I like the fact that, um, yeah, the suede wings on the side are a little bit nicer. Um, and then I like how the, um, uh, in, in the back of the KD9 Elite, it's like this kind of soft, uh, it's almost feels like a satin or something yeah. material, right? But in the KD10, it's like more of the fly knit comes all the way through the back. And I kind of like it. And uh, it has that uh, stretchy fly knit material. And it has a stretchy fly knit material. Um, one thing I do like about the 9 that's not in the 10, which I wish they would have brought over, oh, is, is the lacing system that yeah. wraps around the ankle, which is really, we'll talk about that as far as lockdown. Um, but just materials, I give it a slight edge to the 10. Um, but really not enough to to write home about they're pretty they're both pretty premium yeah they both feel nice yeah um okay talking about fit they're both the same super narrow super narrow super narrow go down half a size have you guys seen katie's feet like without his shoes <laughs> i can only imagine <laughs> it looks like a hockey stick it's, <laughs> it's crazy uh, so yeah both the same there as far as fit um and uh Lockdown? Okay, talking about lockdown real quick. Uh, they're both good, really no issues. Um, I am gonna give the edge to the KD9 Elite due to what I just mentioned earlier. The lacing system actually wraps around the back of your ankle, which I haven't seen in many shoes at all. I'm trying to think if I've seen it in any shoes. Uh, but it's really nice. If you crank it down, it really wraps around your ankle. So the ankle lockdown is a lot better and that's one of the strong points in the KD9 Elite. So that's a win there as far as lockdown. Um, both the lockdown laterally isn't like incredible uh you know i do feel my foot sliding around a little bit in the footbed and that goes along with you know if you're real shifty it's kind of probably not your shoe um now as far as uh support um they're both not a very supportive shoe at all um and i'm gonna give them a tie to both um they both have the same exact lacing system which kind of helps add some support, but it's really not a ton of support. It's just fly knit holding you down. And it's not even like a very, very, very strong fly knit, like, like say a KD9, I mean a Kobe 9, right? Where it's super glued down and heavy. So uh, not the most supportive shoes, but I'm gonna give it a tie there. Um, now talking about durability, 
Uh, so far, I'm gonna have to give the durability to the KD9 Elite, just because of the outsole in the KD10 was just fraying like crazy, just on hardwood. <coughs> and the laces. And the laces, <coughs> uh, the eyelets, uh, people were saying that some of the eyelets were not super durable, kind of snapped. Kind of snapped. So uh, it is the same exact lacing system pretty much in the KD9 Elite, but um, you know, it, it's just the, the, the outsole durability is really what brings it over the edge there. And that's a win for the KD9 Elite. Um, now ventilation, same. Same, same. They're both pretty ventilated. Aesthetics, I mean, it's Ten. A, yeah, I'll go with the tan, but they're almost the same shoe. It's just a switch on materials a little bit almost, you know? Yeah. Uh, but aesthetics-wise, they both look pretty much the same. Uh, I'll go tan too, just a little bit. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, wrapping things up, uh, they're both 150. Um, however, you can find the KD9 Elite on sale <coughs> um, on Nike, and they're hitting the outlets now. So, if it's the same exact price, what would you go with? Um... I would go with the KD10. Really? Yeah. Just because of... Um, traction? The traction. Even though it wears off, you know, it, 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 that's because I have a ton of shoes and I'll just wear it and it wears off, I'll have another shoe. If you don't have a ton of shoes and it's gonna be your shoe, I, I would maybe just go with the KD9 Elite. And it's cheaper. And it's cheaper, okay? Because the durability is gonna be a little bit better. I mean, you, you're gonna pick up a little bit more dust, but you know, nothing a, a wipe won't fix. Um, and depending on the condition of the court you're playing on, you know, uh, so KD9 Elite um, is probably going to be your better bet, uh, considering price and considering durab durability. What about performance, though? Just KD10. KD10 slightly. I mean, it's really not even by much. So it's, it's like just, not even worth it. It's not even really worth it, you know. Uh, but if you like the KD10 more aesthetically, then you could go there. I mean, at the end of the day, the, the both, uh, the, same. the retail was exactly the same. So a um, very, very, very similar shoe, very similar shoe. So, uh, but we thought we'd break it down for you guys, let you know the real differences there in, in the versus video. I personally would take the KD 10, um, but I just explained why. Um, and you know, now the choice is yours. We just told you everything we could tell you and uh, hope we helped you guys out. Soul Brothers, we'll catch you in the next one later. Peace.